What's up? It's Tom Froming. Just wanted to talk quick about that decision to have Tyler Duffy pitch the ninth inning last night, and it's too too nice. Even even early in the morning here, it's not even up to 40 degrees yet. It's still too nice to be inside. I'm on dad duty with the kiddos. Just threw a bunch of toys in the yard so I could talk to you about the twins on Sunday morning here. Um, my thing, there's kind of two things that I want to touch on with this. Number one, no matter what Tyler Duffy is going to be pitching in high leverage situations. No matter what Tyler Duffy is going to be pitching with the game on the line on a pretty regular basis. Now maybe it doesn't have to be the ninth inning for sure. But you're not going to get out of a situation with the way this bullpen is built that Tyler Duffy's not pitching big innings for you. Um, and I'm just not a person that thinks there's a huge difference between the eighth and ninth inning or the seventh inning. You know, once you've made it to the major leagues, you that the guys that can't handle that stuff have been weeded out by then. Especially this guys like Tyler Duffy, who's Duffy, who've been around for years. Um, but number two, you know, I will say that uh, I, w- I would have gone with Emilio Pagan. You know, I know they're going to play matchups, but if Pagan is is available, if he hadn't pitched the previous day, which he hadn't, I would have gone with him. Um, so there's that. And then the other thing I want to mention too is that. Uh, Tyler Duffy was one out away from getting the save. So if he retires, uh, was it Frazier, the, the Twins win, the game's over, nobody's bitching about this. And instead, we have people, and it's, a sm- it's always a small percentage of people who overreact, but they, we have a small percentage of people who are acting like this is like some fireable offense of Rocco Baldelli's that he tried to have Tyler Duffy get a save. And I, I, the only thing that really frustrates me, again, I don't really like Tyler Duffy. I'll be honest. I don't really like Tyler Duffy. But again, I think there is no matter how you shape out the bullpen, he's pitching in high leverage situations. Um, so I understand some of that frustration. Um, I've seen some people mention Jorge Alcala. I'm a huge Alcala guy. I think he's going to be a guy in that picture soon. Um, but it does concern me that his uh, velo is down like two and a half, three miles per hour from last year. So um, I'm, I'm not sure that they fully trust him right now um, like they usually would. Now, the thing that frustrates me especially about this is the stats that people have been referencing in regard to Tyler Duffy, his saves versus his blown saves. He's been a setup man his whole career. You look at any career setup man, and they're going to have numbers similar to Tyler Duffy in those regards. This is a guy who has 64 career holds. That's something you want to look at when you're looking at a setup guy. Okay, Um, You can not get a save if you're not finishing the game. You can get a blown save if you're not finishing the game. The guy who served up the home run to Buxton, uh, Munoz, yesterday, got a blown save, even though they, the Mariners won, and there was a blown save in that game. So um, yeah, that's not a good way to evaluate somebody. Tyler Duffy's been a guy who is, uh, and I looked it up, even after today, he has a like a 1.21 ERA in the ninth inning or later for his career. So no, Tyler Duffy has not been in these situations and done poorly before. He hasn't been in these. He hasn't gotten traditional save chances very often. Um, so I just wanted to say that. I mean, again, if you feel like the Twins should have gone a different d- direction, I get it. I, I'm with you. I, I think they probably should have gone Pagan. Um, I think all, all things being equal, he should be closing out games. But it was the bottom of the Mariners lineup. Tyler Duffy did record, did uh, get outs on two of the, the first three batters he faced. He's one out away from us not talking about this at all. Um, so I think when that's the case, it's pretty ridiculous to overreact uh, on the situation. So you know it's tough when you when you have a bullpen that's up in arms like this. It's going to be diff- It's going to be very easy to second guess when things go wrong. So um, I don't envy Rocco Baldelli in the job that he's kind of put to task to by basically the front office trading away Taylor Rogers, even though I got the logic of that trade, it's still put, it's still a tough situation. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to watch it all unfold. Uh, clearly, you know, the first opportunity didn't go well. <laughs> Thanks for checking this out. We'll talk again soon.